month. So investors getting nervous. Absolutely. It's the fear of the unknown for many investors around the world. $3.4 trillion is nothing to sniff at because Japanese investors have been punished for years for saving locally at home, so they've had no choice but to bring that money offshore. So since 2016 in particular and the introduction of bond yield control, Japanese investors have pumped billions of dollars each month into everything from treasuries to Singapore stocks. And should Ueda raise interest rates further, all of this risks unraveling. We're talking about trillions of dollars potentially getting sucked out of the financial system. Bond yields from the US to Europe could rise. Governments that have been used to having the secure line of cash from Japan suddenly having to find investors elsewhere. The reality is most market uh, participants do expect that the BOJ will tighten monetary policy this year because inflation, as we know, is rising in Japan. So there's a lot of stake, a lot at stake here. A lot, a lot at stake. We cannot kind of drive that uh, point home more right. The majority of this $3.4 trillion mountain of funds, where has it gone under the tenure of Kuroda? So we did a lot of research into this, a lot of data crunching, <laughs> and found that the Japanese have invested virtually every, everywhere. And I mean virtually everywhere, from government bonds through to stock markets in the Netherlands to risky loans in the US to power stations in Europe, Brazil, debt. By far, though, they invested big in US government bonds. Japanese investors are the single biggest foreign holders of US treasuries. They also own about 10% of Australian and Dutch debt, 2% of stocks in the Singapore, in Singapore, the UK and the US, and the list just goes on. So are we envisioning the impact here to be just more volatility in the markets? Or are we talking about potential repercussions for the global economy when you have, you know, money being sucked out from U.S. Treasuries and, and it being more expensive to fund debt and, and just having broader ballooning repercussions around the world? So this is the million-dollar question that some of the brightest minds in the investment world are trying to answer. So, yes, we are talking about yields rising in the world's biggest bond market, U.S. Treasuries. We're talking governments from Australia through to the Netherlands potentially having to buy new buyers for their debt. We're talking about a stronger yen as well as the interest rate differential with the U.S. narrows. So the thing is, though, um, and this is why people are nervous, the flow reversal that we're talking about right now is already underway. Japanese investors sold a record amount of global debt last year because the Bank of Japan introduced the tiniest tweaks to normalize policy. Imagine what could happen next should Ueda ramp that up further.